previously on the Random Sketch Generator. Next month's theme will either be good luck or mystery. It's a mystery. Who and knows? good luck with your weeks ahead of you. <laughs> What's happening to you, Kate? Is this something you need to tell them? May the odds be ever in your favour. Forever. <laughs> of the Bermuda Triangle, but what about the Milton Keynes Hexagon? Hi, I'm Max Michael, and this is Mysteries to the Max, the show where I'll be pushing mysteries to the max. Michael. Today we're going to be talking about Milton Keynes Hexagon, a hexagon-shaped area of Milton Keynes, and a little bit of Newport Pagnell where it is said crazy, unexplained mysteries happen frequently. We talk to Mrs. Wimber Wallace, one of the many residents who have experienced the inexplicable. It was just an average day, an average normal day. I was pottering around the house, you know, as you do. When I hears a bling on my phone, it was Auntie Carol on the What's It app. Her Mary Martha is having problems with her fiancé, and it's all up in the air it's going ahead or not you know um, I, just can't uh, I mean mrs wimber wallace please could you tell us what you experienced i went to pick up my glasses from the kitchen table but they weren't where i left them whoa <gasps> i always put my glasses on the kitchen table but they just weren't there it's like they disappeared into thin air or perhaps the glasses slipped into an alternate dimension. Mmm, could be. Or perhaps I put them down in the bathroom when I was changing the toilet roll. What other strange experiences have you experienced? <gasps> I saw a cat with no head. Perhaps a glitch in the stimulation. Yes! Although it was dark and the cat was black and it was an, at an odd angle, it could have just been licking its up. Riveting stuff. But what could possibly be the cause of such strange occurrences? Could the answer lie in a seemingly mundane feature of the National Highway? Why are there so many roundabouts in Milton Keynes? Could it be the result of modern town planning? Or is the answer more insidious? Could the constant motion of vehicles going round and round the roundabout be powering portals to another dimension? Many people, not just me, but many people have called Milton Keynes the CERN of the southeast of England. Did the government create Milton Keynes to experiment with the crossover of alternate dimensions? And are we now experiencing the effects? I talked to government official, traffic warden, Officer Greg Graham Grant. Roundabouts are circular intersections. The traffic flows in one way in a clockwise direction and road users give priority to those already. And do you think numerous roundabouts of Milton Keynes is powering portals to alternate dimensions? Um, what's this for again? Officer Graham Greg Grant then went on to say he thinks I'm onto something, but um, the the audio cut off. So has there been any strange occurrences in your area? And how many roundabouts are near you? Not including many roundabouts, I don't think they count. Let me know at Max Michael Mysteries 2, the number 2, the Max at MaxMysteries.com. It was just another day in miscellaneous city. I stared out my office window, seeing the grayscale streets below me. A suffocating urban jungle, its inhabitants slowly suffering within it, yet unable to live without it. There's a knock at the frosted door of my detective agency. And in saunters in my next big mistake. Hello? Is this the old jaded detective agency? She knew very well where she was. There was a big sign on the door. It is. I'm Detective Jaded. 
She was unlike the dames that frequented this side of town. She was a woman of class. I'm a woman of class, and I'm in need of your assistance. I might be old and jaded, but I could never turn down a pretty face in me. I offered her a seat. Have a seat, miss. Mrs. Wilma Monet Bags. Monet Bags? Of the infamous Monet Bags fortune, yes. My husband was Jebediah Monet Bags. I'm recently widowed. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. But not that sorry. I've been accused of his murder. Did you do it? He was a terrible brute and was cruel to me. I hated everything about him and I desperately wanted him dead. But that doesn't mean I did it. Of course not. Who inherits the Monet bag's fortune? Me. I'm the sole beneficiary. But that doesn't mean I did it. I'm just a girl. I can't do murder. No, of course not. Everyone knows pretty girls can't do murder. But if it's not too traumatic, could you tell me how your husband died? He was stabbed in the heart with a hat pin. Whose hat pin? Mine. But that doesn't mean I did it. Of course not. Next to him on the floor, written in blood, were the words, Wife did it, and then my full legal name, and then the words, No cap. But that doesn't mean I did it. Of course not. Were there any witnesses to the murder? Yes, who have all separately said that they saw me murder my husband. But that doesn't mean I did it. Of course not. The witnesses could be unreliable, corrupt. One of the witnesses is my own sister. But that doesn't mean I did it. Of course not. Is there any reason why your sister would lie? Oh, she's just jealous. She doesn't have the nerve to murder her rich husband like I murdered mine. You just said you murdered your husband. Did I? But that doesn't mean I did it. Oh, come on, detective. You gotta get me out of this. Everyone thinks I done it because of all the insurmountable evidence against me. But I didn't done it. No, of course not. But who did done it? Who could it possibly be? I pondered. She had the means, the motive, opportunity, and several witnesses to testify against her. But she simply could not have done it. A face like that was too beautiful to murder. And besides, she told me she didn't do it. And she wouldn't lie to me. That's one thing I know for sure. But that leaves the rest of this rotten city as suspects. Perhaps the case will never be solved. It's quite simply a mystery. Our gracious host, Mr. Black, has been murdered, it seems. Now this is a very sensitive time, and I think before we all start pointing fingers, we should take this moment to reflect. Perhaps I might lead us all in prayer for our dear departed friend. I think it was Colonel Mustard in the library with the pistol. All right, Miss Peacock. <laughs> That's quite an accusation. Have we checked the body? Is there a bullet wound? I think it was Mrs. White in the conservatory with the rope. There's a lot of theories floating about. I think it was Miss Scarlet with the candlestick in the billiard room. Does anyone have any alibis? I think it was Miss Peacock in the hall with the dagger. Any evidence to support that theory, Colonel? I think it was Miss Scarlet in the library with the lead pie. That's you. You're accusing yourself. I think it was Professor Plum. In the dining room, with the wrench. I feel like we're just saying random names and places. I think. Oh, here we go. It was Reverend Green in the library with the wrench. Huh, uh, uh, well, I don't... Ooh, steady on there. That's absolutely ridiculous. Me, a, a murderer? Uh, I'm a man of God. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. I'll kill you all! <laughs> Mystery. 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 That's Mystery. the end of our show. And the theme was mysteries. Mystery. Mystery. Mysterious. And we have a guest. Yo. Mysterious guest. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Sam George. Boy, thanks for joining us. <laughs> boy, yeah, you've no been worries. a pleasure. Taken boy. <laughs> Title, Sam George. Boy. He is a man, Millie. <laughs> no, I meant, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. This guy's good. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 
Sam, thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about what you do and shout about this is your time to shine. Uh, yeah, okay. So um, I I do music. I make music. Um, I make my own songs. Uh, make my, write my own lyrics. Um, in the style of sort of hip hop rap. Um, sometimes pop. It's sort of just it's some sort of big merge of hip hop, pop, rap. Yeah, you know, all of that stuff. Um, hip hop rap, some would say. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. And. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and I've been doing it for a few years and it's just something I enjoy doing, even if it doesn't go anywhere. I like to do it in my spare time, just write songs and make music. Amazing. And you were recently featured on the radio as well, weren't you? I was, yeah. I couldn't believe it. Um, uh, the, it's my first time being on the radio and and I had like I had my friends gathered around and I had my family around and we was like <laughs> I was like guys guys I'm up next Ch- turn it on turn it on I'm up next <laughs> and um yeah it was it was a surreal experience I couldn't believe it like I know I make music and it's catchy and it's good but yeah I just I couldn't believe I was on the radio I feel like nothing I'll ever beat that first time of hearing just your song on the radio yeah yeah like next time I'll be like oh, yeah. <laughs> done it before over it <laughs> 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 this is my now. second time now <laughs> um where can we hear your music and um what what have you got coming up um so i do a lot of i try my hardest to do social media but i'm so inconsistent um so Same. like yeah it's a it's a marathon not a sprint social media <laughs> yeah yeah that's it um so i do a lot of stuff on tiktok and that's uh sammy g 2201 um if you want to check that out and then i have a a music instagram page which is sam george music and then i put all my music on soundcloud and youtube because i don't quite have that Mm. following yet to to put it on streaming platforms um because otherwise you pay a certain amount a year and i i'm make a loss that's a really um, wise yeah. decision, that, Sam. Unlike Quirks and Foibles, who decided to put their one song with zero following on a streaming oh, platform. It only cost us £10. And how much money have <laughs> we made? we've earned £2 back. Woo! So we'll be in, We're gonna we'll get be profit in profit. We're going to get profit in four years. You are. Yeah. You, you're, you're almost there. And now that I'm on here as well, you know, like... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll all be making all a profit. <laughs> Um, we can put your your links in um, in the bio so people can get those clicks in. Yeah. Oh, amazing! Scroll Thank down. you. Yes. Yeah, if you're listening, um, scroll down and have a look for those links. Click, click, click. Do it now, otherwise you don't find quirks and foibles funny. <laughs> then they don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, you know, you know what it's time for. It's time for the best part of the whole episode. Oh, yeah. Gonna wheel out. I'm going to wheel out the uh, random sketch generator. I can't oh. wait for this. Are you ready? You are a listener, so you know how this works. Yeah. <laughs> we, we we wheel out the random sketch generator. It all produce um, six sketches, and we usually pick two and then see what does best. But as you are our guest, and our previous guests have had the same privilege, mm. I think you get to pick out of the six okay, yeah, what sure. you want us to do. Yeah, yeah, you get that it. privilege. So let's let's pull out the random sketch okay. generator. Here we go. <laughs> Spoiler: those noises they are made by us. <laughs> Amy, <laughs> you're ruining, me. You're ruining the illusion. No way. Sketch generator. Take it out of the edit. Is someone someone getting that serviced? <laughs> yeah, needs serviced, <laughs> and it gets some WD forty on that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the lever. Okay. <laughs> it's always vomiting. It's Sam. Sam's reaction that I enjoyed. It's, and the themes are okay. <gasps> Please be cocktails because I want a cocktail tasting session. Odd again. So okay. the themes are mortal, losing, mm-hmm. banana, <laughs> he- banana, he- dawn. Constipation, <laughs> oh, Jesus, or death. Oh God! Wow. I mean, the random sketch Please. writer hasn't been that kind to you, son. It's never been kind to us, I um, think. Uh, I quite, 
I quite like the idea of doing a podcast about losing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> losing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is that, is that your, your choice? F- yeah, is that your final yeah. answer? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to pick that one. Okay. I am so relieved, actually, you said losing and not banana. Cause... Yeah, I 100% thought when you were like, I would love to see. I was like, he's going to say banana. Banana. Say banana. To be honest, I heard losing and constipation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, Const- I don't know where you'd go with constipation. Not very far. No, you're on, on the, the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing a live constipation podcast. No, 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 no. No, I, I, I refuse to bring this podcast into the toilet. That's my time. Toilet time is my time. <laughs> <laughs> Next month's theme is going to be losing. And thank you to Sam George for choosing. <laughs> Yeah, no oh, way. Oh, she did a word it rhymed. I can't wait to listen to it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for joining us, Sam. And remember, you can click yes. below to get all those links. You, our email is there. Follow Quirks and Foibles. Remember, if you don't click those links, you don't find this funny. And that is just not cool. So. Yeah, do it now, guys. <laughs> I, think, I think we should have Sam around as our hype man hype all man. the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, I'd love just... you as a hype man. Just at the end of every every episode, I just come up with something new. Like, click on it now, otherwise you eat soil for breakfast. (laughs) It's like a playground (laughs) thing. (laughs) Yeah, if you don't do this, your mum is a fish. What's wrong with your mum? Your mum is Miss Wimber Wallace. (laughs) Is Miss Wimber (laughs) Wallace. Mrs. Oh, amazing. Um, Does anybody have any final thoughts as we wrap up? No worries. Uh, any, any words of wisdom? Any words of wisdom? Sam? Anybody to share? Any with words our of wisdom? Um, just uh, thank, be thankful for another day of life. Oh, gosh. a mic drop, and that is not a mystery. <laughs> I might lead did I us put all... you off? Now I, I did put us... you off. <laughs> There's clearly a delay. <laughs> I'm not so Let the boy do his acting. Read that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs>